My name is James Williams Jr. Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. This is also a video that most likely will not be for children. And hopefully this little guy will forget everything that I'm about to talk about. Alright, so I'm about to do a video about... No, 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 you don't. You stay right there. I'm about to do a video on acting, actors, and racism. Alright? I know you're thinking, oh no, not another racist one again. Well, let me tell you something about racism. If you don't address the problem, there will always be a problem. So, here's me addressing the problem. As you guys know, whenever I have made a video about racism, it has generally had something to do with professional acting in my career that's just not happening. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to do the interview with you in camera. Alright, so as you guys know, I'm part Cherokee Indian, I'm part black, and I'm part white. Alright, every now and again, I kind of deny them all. Most of the time, when someone of one of those particular colors of individuals are doing something incredibly stupid. Alright, could you stop please? We are not a team here. You just won't leave me alone. It's bad enough that you would let me sleep last night, and now you yeah. interrupted my video. Okay, as I was saying, whenever I've gone on these casting calls, I'm trying to talk, fella. Whenever I've gone on these casting calls, there's always been this list of what a particular character needs to look like or whatever. And you know, I've I've touched on this before, so I'm gonna touch. It. Could you be quiet? Please be quiet. Stop. Stop. Are you getting out? I'm gonna get group. You want me to get group? Yes or no? No? Excellent. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a particular mm, list. Mm, mm, mm. Not, don't even think about it. Do not touch the machine. You hold your little bear right there. Anyway, there's a particular list, and I'm just never going to be on it. Which is why I started making independent films in the first place, because there are no lists or stories that reflect around people of multi-ethnic backgrounds. Like me. My nephew here. Yes, it's a boy, not a girl. And Hello. like me, he loves stuffed animals. I really wish you would stop. Anyhow. Stop! <laughs> anyhow. So, you know, I wrote like <laughs> mad scripts on you know, mad old school disc and things like that. And all my scripts have something to do with the, the major guy of the story being me, being multicultural. And most of my characters either have a black father or an Asian mother or an Asian father and a black mother. That way someone would be like, oh, well, you're playing a mixed character. Correct. Now, since I'm multicultural, my very first movie, my character was Native American, Chinese, and black. Because my grandfather in that show, it was called Fallen Dragons, was of Native American descent. My father was of Chinese descent and my mother was mixed because her mother was black. All right, so that was probably confusing as hell. Well, that's the life I live every day. And when it comes to making films and stuff, we don't have films that have people like that that can relate. You are totally ruining this. And there's that. Now, normally I would be shooting this video solo, but I can't seem to get someone out of my room. And he's throwing me a beating in the middle of a very important discussion. That is very bad of you. Okay? Anyway, I'm about to get him out of here. Anyway, the bottom line is, you know, there's not enough writers who are taking their chances in writing stories that relate to me and oh, of multiculturalness and stuff. Girlfriend. There have been a few movies, and I'm pretty sure that Val Kilmer remembers when he played um, be, be, such and such in, in Thunderheart or True be, Heart or whatever the heck it was, when he be. went to the Native American reservation and he was a cop and he had to solve Baby, his crime and all that stuff. Well, there's not enough movies like that. Enter me! Oh. But since there's no movies like that, and no one's willing to film these movies, it kind of causes a problem. So you basically got to say that mixed people don't have problems too, and we're just like the top of the food chain. Well, we're not, and we still have things that we have to do. I'm doing an interview. No, 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 don't touch that. Anyway, so as you can see, I'm going to have to end this shortly and not get to make my point, because somebody with a bear in his hand won't stop and let me make my point. No, no, don't touch that. Anyhow. I'm getting ready to do my comedy skit after this, but I'm throwing That's him out of the room or else this will never take off. So, I'm Chance Williams Jr., and this is Ron Zell. 
Go ahead, tell them your name. I drank. Don't touch my computer. Drink. That's me. Tell them your name. Zell. That's right. Zell. This is Ron Zell. He is my guest host for the day and only the day and hopefully only the two videos that you saw us in, besides the ones that I posted last hey night. Hey, guys! Because he wouldn't go to help to sleep. Anyway, I'm James Williams Jr. This is Coach Having Number 2, special guest Ron Zell, and we are out.